What are we eating? Sukiyaki. We're going to eat sukiyaki. It's a winter Japanese specialty and neither of us has had it. Let's try it. We have a choice of four types of meat. We're going for the second from the top. Why do you think you never had sukiyaki so far? Uh, when I first came, it was probably out of my and my friend's price range, and then I just kind of forgot it existed, I think. For some reason, sukiyaki was never on my map of things to try in Japan. I usually would go for sh uh, shabu shabu, which is very similar, I presume, but slightly different. I also think sukiyaki is made at home more frequently than shabu shabu is. It's very common for Japanese people to eat things with raw egg like this. Mm. The flavor goes so well with raw egg. It's perfect. It was cooked in soy, sugar, and mirin, which is like a sake. I'm supposed to dip the meat in the egg. Oh, that one just looks so good. Mm. Oh man. This is very good. Sukiyaki pan is always greased with lard and then afterwards you put in the meat and ingredients and the ingredients are the sauce which is made up of sugar, soy and mirin so it has a sweet flavor. So in our case we have mushrooms, cabbage shungiku which I believe is chrysanthemum, I can't pronounce it, tofu, some mushrooms, onion, then shirataki noodles and shirataki noodles are made out of cognac and it's basically just like a white noodle and you shouldn't put it too close to the meat because apparently they have an agent that hardens the meat so cook it on the opposite side of the meat. The noodles are called shirataki which means white waterfall because they're white and it looks like water coming off of a waterfall. Fun fact! You want tofu? And in some places serving these dishes you cook them on your own, sometimes you have it made for you. I prefer to cook it myself, it's more entertainment. And if you don't know how to make this stuff, don't worry, in, in restaurants like these they make the first batch for you and they show you everything and it's completely normal so don't feel embarrassed if you don't know exactly how to treat shabu shabu or sukiyaki. Because the sauce has sugar and it gets really thick, you have to add water to it. Some places make a point of cooking the meat against the pan before adding the sauce for a bit, but this place didn't really do that. They had some vegetables first, then added the sauce and meat. It really doesn't matter as long as the meat is cooked and has a bit of the sauce flavor in it. And what we have here is an all-you-can-eat, which is highly recommended. You should. When you're in Japan as a tourist, you should go, you should find a restaurant like this and go for all you can eat. It's the best moment of the whole dinner when you take a bite of this heavenly meat and just melts. It's amazing. And then you realize it's gonna keep coming for 120 minutes for the price you pay. Mirin, which is one of the ingredients in the sauce, is technically rice wine, so you're eating spiked food. So full. You know we can sit here for like another hour and eat more later. I'd feel bad about this. Day one. But it was worth it. Oh my god. 
so good. So good. Her sukiyaki experience, a very huge success. Very delicious. Glad I finally did it. Very highly recommended. Please add it to your list of things to eat in Tokyo. It'll warm you up. For more videos about food and Japan and amazing things, subscribe. <gasps> Thank you.